Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the background effects for your video meetings. Uh, this is a super easy to follow tutorial so if you do find it useful you know what to do and with that said let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here we are just inside Microsoft Teams here and what I'm going to do is head over to the calendar section here on the app bar and from here I'm going to quickly click on the meet now Okay, and that's going to load up a new meeting. Now I'm using the new meeting experience which has been rolling out. Um, so yours may look slightly different to my screen. Uh, and if you haven't already enabled this, head over to settings um, and you'll be able to activate it there. And I'll also just add a link uh, at the top here on how to do this. Um, so once you have uh, your meeting here, and just before you kind of start, you get a few options to begin with. One is you get to toggle your camera on and off uh, as needed. Um, you also have the ability to toggle your microphone on and off as needed as well. And there's something called a custom setup. Now, just by hovering over here, we get to see that uh, we are using the Logitech Stream Cam for the microphone and the headphones are from my Rode NT USB Mini. Um, I can click that and it'll actually open up the device settings all together here and I can choose my camera, I can choose my microphone, uh, etc. Okay, so we get to all of those settings. Now with your um, camera actually enabled, uh, you have this thing here called background effects and we can click that and straight away these background settings will appear over on your right hand side. So by default, nothing is added. Um, if we wanted to blur the background we can do that to start with just here before we've even joined the meeting if we wanted to we obviously have all of these virtual backgrounds as well that we can add into the meeting uh, in, into our camera feed before we have even started the um, the actual meeting itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that on blur for now and close that down. We can see that the camera here is already blurred out um, I'm going to turn off the microphone and I'm going to click join now. This is then going to send us directly into the meeting. Um, since we are the only participant, uh, we can see that our uh, webcam here is blurred and um, what we want to now do is if we want to uh, change the background settings before we've um, oh, sorry, after we've actually joined the meeting rather than before what we can do is actually at the top here uh, where we have all of the controls now on the far right hand side there's these ellipses if we click the ellipsis um, we can come down here and we can see that we also have the ability to apply background effects so if I start clicking on there this then takes us back into uh, the background settings that we saw earlier and um, this time you know we have the ability to see a blur add custom backgrounds uh, anything else that you might want to actually add and again we can preview these um, before actually you know making them go live so we can see how they um, you know how they actually look before we go in and actually apply them so um, you know this is a you know a pretty nice image there uh, that we have selected um, so I can apply and turn on my video. So now we have this virtual background applied. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm not actually running a real webcam at the moment um, because I am using that to speak to you guys. So it doesn't actually appear here, but uh, you know, this is actually going to give you the most amount of real estate here and you can see what is happening with these virtual backgrounds. Now, the other thing that you can do is there's this new button here that says add new uh, and this will allow you to add your own image as a virtual background. Now I have already added the old Simpsons couch and I can apply that and obviously then I can use this as a virtual background for my meeting. Now obviously this is only suitable for um, my webcam and everyone else is free to kind of choose their own virtual backgrounds as they would prefer. So it's really good a way of kind of like jazzing up uh, your uh, meetings a little bit and, you, and people can get very creative with the various different kinds of uh, images that you could use as a personal backgrounds. Now obviously you want to make sure that uh, you know it's the right kind of image for the type of meeting or uh, lecture that you're in. You definitely don't want to be using anything inappropriate. Um, but you know these are pretty nice images that come preloaded into uh, Microsoft Teams here. So you do feel um, free to kind of choose any of these images uh, because they do a pretty good job at um, you know, giving you a very professional look and feel. Um, obviously they do have some more kind of fun 
um, you know, images like this one here, for example, um, or this one here, you know, various different kind of um, colorful uh, images that can be used uh, on some futuristic ones here with robots in the background and etc. So it is worth kind of just playing through um, all of these different kind of backgrounds, see which ones you prefer. Um, you know, Minecraft there, which is owned by Microsoft. Um, so you feel free to kind of, you know, if, you've, if you're a big Minecraft fan, you've got that to choose from. There's some abstract, uh, you know, backgrounds as well that you guys can use. And um, to really kind of just bring those meetings to life uh, a little bit more. And like I said, it's super easy and super fun to actually use these. Uh, it doesn't take all that much time um, to kind of go through these settings, find the, the, the kind of background that you want to use, the ones that you kind of prefer. Um, and if there's nothing preset uh, that you'd like to use, you can just add your own images, um, which is absolutely fantastic that you finally have that functionality. There used to be a few workarounds that you used to put in place to kind of give you the ability to add your own images directly into the directory. Um, but now Microsoft Teams have actually given you the ability to upload an image directly in uh, into here for you. So do have fun messing around with the different kind of backgrounds that, that uh, you, know, you might want to actually have uh, in your team meetings. Um, very, very useful feature. Um, and kind of the, the main function that you tend to see is the blur, the blur background, because the blur will basically allow um, you to blur out anything happening in the background. So if you've got a very busy office, um, the blur seems to be the go-to um, feature. And if you're working at home and you've got little kids, uh, you know, in the background, etc., um, then actually, you know, using the blur background um, takes them out of the scenario here. So uh, if you're using a good quality microphone as well, and then you can control noise gates and suppress the noise, etc., along with a, a blurred background, you'll definitely deliver a very well, um, kind of like, I guess, professional uh, quality. Uh, a meeting. So well worth having a look through all of the presets um, and the custom images that you can add in. So, you know, you could use a custom image for branding, for example. So if you wanted a branded background, um, you could do that as well. So well worth kind of having a good look through the settings here. Um, and apply the background that, that best suits your needs. Um, and guys, I'm going to just end that meeting there and uh, make sure everyone is out of the meeting there. And yeah, guys, it is as easy as that to set up um, your background effects within Microsoft Teams. There's a whole host of presets available to you. Um, so do feel free to kind of peruse all of the different options that are there. Um, and if there isn't a preset that you like, you do have the ability to add your own custom image or branded image uh, as your virtual background. Now by default, they do appear to be um, reverse order to you like a mirror. Um, but when you're, uh, you're basically your participants of that meeting, they see all the wording the correct way around. So for you, it would be uh, backwards, but for the participants and the people that you're presenting to, they would see it the correct way around. Hopefully you guys have found this video tutorial useful. If you did, then you know what to do. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.